and actually start recording this for once because I forgot. It's very attractive EA Sims here. So this is what I really like to do when I am making a new sim, be it a toddler or an adult, is just to um, pick a couple of sims and mix them together. Now usually if I'm trying to make a toddler, I'll mix two toddlers together by making them adults, making one male and one female and then just mix them together. But now I'm just going to pick a couple of random sims and mix them together. So, should we take you know the fact that all the eyes have gone wonky? That was my error with my mod. Here we go, we'll just take Sparrow. Pick someone else. See what Sims have got in here. Nope. Um. Mm -hmm. Reese always makes cute kids. So I'll just mix these two, just make her a guy so that I can. Just pick a random skin and then use the baby tool. This is literally what I love doing in cast, just taking a couple of my sims and mix them together. It's pretty much how every single one of my sims was created by making bases like this. So just... Gonna click through a couple, find one that I kind of like as a base, and then we can edit that one. Try and find ones that look not like babies so that we actually have some fun editing, because otherwise, make it a bit boring. Well, that one's already cute. Let's see how she looks. I think the biggest difference is mainly made by skin. So she has a Sparrow's baby skin. Let's just mix a couple and see if I can find some that look less cute so that we can make them cute. Kind of hard to find ugly ones when you mix two pretty sims together. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, I obviously need to mix some sims that don't look that babyish together. He'll do. Right, let's find some more awkward looking kids. That one. Isn't that nicely awkward looking kid?
Here we go. Let's see if we can save the hell out of this one. Right, I was asked to use a sketchbook soon, so let me try and find one that I like. Okay. Obviously this kid doesn't look like a baby, it doesn't even look like a human at the moment. Gonna give it some nicer contact so it actually doesn't have weird eyes. Make sure this is recording. Yes, good. Right. Okay. Start. Face height is pretty low already. That's always useful for making babies. Um, face width sometimes helps, especially making um, coloured kids. Oh, let's see. Head shape is very useful because babies have a massive head but a very small face. So the head shape makes their head longer and then you can move their face down. Um, for babies you also need massive heads. Looks ridiculous right now but um, a baby's head is like um, a quarter of its body length and size. So you need a pretty big head. Chunky heads, fat heads, head width. This makes good chunky cheeks, so I usually like to put that pretty low. And babies have no neck. It's going to look absolutely ridiculous right now. So, I tried to put their neck pretty low down. Right. I'm just going to set all this to zero because this is adult stuff. Looks slightly weird otherwise. Just fix all this. Right. That makes the face have a little less shading. I like to do that at the end and see if it looks good or not. Right, I think I'll start with the jaw. back to normal. Um, usually helps put the jaw down a tiny bit. Again with the longer um, faces so that you can have the eyes further down and have a big ass forehead. Jawline width gives them chunky jaw. Babies don't really have a defined jaw, they have more of a uh, double chin actually. Right. Chunky fat jaws. These are good sliders to like when you age your kid up, you can just like kind of change these a bit and go from super chunky to a little less chunky like you would if they get slightly older. Again with this one, it also makes them have go from chunky to a bit skinnier, also helps when aging them up. Mm. B 
the chins. Right. Do some jaw editing here. Cheekbone height. Pretty much just changes the uh, cheeks a bit, but also makes the uh, lines under the uh, the eye bags a bit bigger. Not jaw shape. Obviously, fullness. Jowls also makes the cheeks look a bit chunkier. Width makes them go out to the side a bit more, which can make them look a bit chunkier again. And Y scale also makes them look like they have chubby cheeks. Thing. These are more just to fiddle around how you like them. Right. Let's just go from the bottom up. So lips next. Babies always look like they're incredibly depressed. So curve their mouth up quite a lot. Oh, mouth corner width I usually like to bring down a bit more and then I rotate them also so they look kind of depressed. Then the upper lip. This one's nice, usually just gives their lips a bit of a better shape. I usually move this up a bit to give them a bit of a th fatter lip. And then for the lower lip, I usually have a smallish lower lip because babies quite often don't have much of a lower lip. They have more like a big chin underneath it. Also use this to like open their mouth a tiny bit if you want to show some teeth. I'm going to get rid of because I don't want teeth on a baby. Right. Let's get rid of the teeth. There we go. Okay. up a bit more to give the chin a bit more space give them a smaller more rose buddy mouth by making the width a bit smaller good next nose so I like to move the nose up a bit because babies have a rather large philanthrum which is this part here between the nose and the mouth Maybe not that much but Give them a good amount of space there. Mm. A bit more chunky nose. This gives them a bit more of a piggy nose. If that's what you like. smaller nose. Right. I suck at noses so I like to just have a skin with a nice nose on it already. But 
obviously you can play around. What I like is the bridge depth, so babies usually have a very um, flat nose, so bridge depth high. And then the bridge height goes pretty low, which also gives them more of a pert nose. I like piggy noses. Right, nose width, this makes your nose fatter and thinner. Don't usually like rotating it much. Bridge width a bit thinner then. I don't like the bump most of the time. Sometimes a bit of it looks good. And I make the upper nasal bridge depending on the eyes usually, so I might edit that again later. Right. Okay. He is. I like um kind of monkey ears, so this is kind of just however you like them. Next to go are the eyes. I like to have the brow bend up a little bit. Gives a more depressed look. The brow curve does the kind of depressed look. This kind of makes them evil or non-evil. I want a depressed look. Move them down a bit, makes them look sometimes better, sometimes worse. Again, these are just more fiddling. Sometimes it's cute to make the distance um, pretty low. I try to get it so that it doesn't look too weird because sometimes you get like these lines here like if I go like this I don't like those lines so I try to stay just so that I don't get them right general eye stuff Alien Eye Modifier actually sometimes looks pretty good. Right. Depending how you want your eyes, you can edit the eye depth. The further out they are, the less, the lighter that's around them, and the further in they are, the more shading they have under their eyes and on top of their eyes. I usually like them relatively deep. Maybe not that deep, but... Relatively close together, again, more of a baby look. And then the height, really going to go down here. Lower length. This sometimes quite looks cute because it makes the eye go down a bit more. Makes them stare more at you. Gonna leave that pretty much how it is. Eye socket height depends. I usually like to put it relatively low because babies have a lot of puff over their eyes. What's also really cool is this eyelid width. Iris size, up we go. Uh, 
and the just eye height is very useful. My favourite sliders is this eyelid width for toddlers. Gives them that kind of sleepy closed eyed look. That can give them a bit more droopy eyes. Same with that. These are, again, just more fiddling, however you like them. This gives them also a bit more of a sleepy, closed-eyed look, the sunken eyeball slider. Right. Okay, now let's put some work into the body. Okay. Body girth width. Chunky. Very simply make chunky toddlers. Let's see what other one's in here. Head size. Who you're looking at. Massive. Height is down low. Right now we can also check out the smooth normals. But I kind of like maybe a little bit. Then next one's under nose. Arm slider. Gotta have some chunky arms here. Belly slider. Have that chunky baby belly. Just get rid of some of these. Babies aren't exactly big. Right. Last one's under lips. So here you can just chunk the thing up a bit more if you want to. Wrong one. A bit more of a baby butt. Bigger feet. Fatter hips, really chunky legs. Which you can use the calf and the th um, thigh thickness ones to also make more chunky. Then 
then the shoulder bones can go down a bit so they don't have these really square shoulders. Also shoulder width makes the belly look a bit chunkier. And the waist is what gives them this. Here you go, the chunky belly part. Just making sure that the body height is on normal. Remember where the body height slider is. Not here. This is what making Just put him in a onesie so that we can see what he looks like. Now oh, that's chunky fat ass kid. Right. Now it's usually pretty useful to work off of um, pictures you found online of cute babies or something so that you have a reference. I find it a lot harder when I don't have a reference. Nope, why'd it go up again? Just going to add a bit more chunk. Right, to how? Usually when I'm done I try to look through a couple of other skins to see if any of them suit them better. Right. That one actually suits the baby, funnily enough. This one's also on Sketch for Pixels. This is Lark Skin. Let's see what else we got. It's Close Skin. That's not up there. That's Juno Skin. It always looks like a freaking monkey child. Let's see. Find some that aren't for download. Nope. Mowgli skin, it's not up for download. So Mowgli, keep clicking on one. This one is also up for download. This is the Bell skin, also seems to look cute on this baby. Obviously one with a, a false scalp texture. No, she doesn't look that bad. See what else we have. This one's also up. That one. 
ones are also there. In this baby suit, it's quite a lot of skin, so. It's always good. If someone suits a lot of skins, it usually means that they're relatively versatile. That one's also up. Co skin always looks like Co. Right. I think if I was making this baby to use, I would probably mix the toot skin together with the um, bell skin and kind of make a mashup of those two because I think it would suit that one best. I even have half the Get your pixel skins in here. Mm. <laughs> that one actually makes it look awkwardly cute as well. I'm just going to pick one now. Okay, we'll stick with that one. Right, last but not least, there are some makeups that look good on babies. Um. That one sometimes isn't that bad, but you usually don't use many. That one's sometimes rather cute. Maybe some eyelashes if I wanted to. What I usually use is a couple of these. This one kind of um, whitewashes the skin and sometimes looks good and sometimes doesn't. Sometimes it makes them look a bit chunkier because I quite like that one. Always at a really low opacity. That one shades the jaw. These are all just um, adult blushes you can see that I just enabled for kids in Sims 3P. My favourite one in the entire world. highlighting here. Um, right clicking them undoes it, just in case people still don't know that. And then there's two um, two toddler lips that I sometimes just like to put as a low overlay. Right. Sometimes it's good to just edit a couple more things when you're zoomed out a bit. It sometimes helps. Baby look more depressed. Still don't like the eyes for some reason. Like the eye shape, but just not the height, maybe.
So, uh, for eyebrows and hair, I usually draw them on the skin. You can see this one actually does have faint eyebrows on it. Babies look stupid with uh, proper eyebrows, so I usually just draw them on the skin. And I'll upload him as a base when I'm done with him, because I don't actually have a use for him at the moment. Or her. It's supposed to be a girl. It's not really a girl. I don't make door skin uh, hair on them, they usually just get this hair. Okay, looks slightly ridiculous with eyelashes. Maybe some other ones. Nope. If I upload Sims as a base, you can do whatever you want with them. I literally don't care. You are free to edit them, mix them, use them as they are. <laughs> Great. All those sliders seem to be messed up. Shift clicking on these sliders lets you write in the value yourself, in case that helps anyone. I find it pretty useful. This kid's head's so freaking big. It's like a total egg head as well. Um. Stick a bow on its head. Okay. Still not 100% happy with this sim. I literally also share pretty much any of my sims as bases. So they don't come with their skins then, but you can put whatever skin you want on them and mix them together. I can send you the dot sim, so just the shape of them. Right. Pretty much done with that now. So yes, that is pretty much how to make an incredibly a uh, chunky baby. These are sometimes interesting sliders because they change the shape of the head quite a lot by changing the shape of the neck. You can see from the side, that's why she has an egg head. They look cute from the front sometimes if you like super edit them, but then from the side they'll just look like an uh, yeah. Hmm. 
no, that one's not good. There's another one that does this. Oh, it quits, I think. Nope. It's also a way to make fat headed kids. Go now. I can just go through a couple more skins. See if she looks better. Right. She looks kind of like an evil monkey. Still need to find. That was the skin she had. Wait, we had that might look a bit better on her when she's older. It's not very babyish because Lark was never a baby when I made her skin. That one's also online, just has no eyebrows. Where was the other skin we tried out? Hmm. That Sevy skin, that also looks a bit better for adults, uh, adults, older children. Which is also online. skin. I mean, also suits her. Pretty much suits a lot of skins. I just leave her in that one for the moment. Kind of like the under eye bags. Right, let's save this sim. Also really helps to look at them in game, so I'm going to do that now. Um, I'll make a Tumblr post just dumping these. So, don't worry. Right, let's just go. Cause I've got... mm -hmm. These people have more space. Right, find Lella. Supposedly she's right here. Anyone see a baby? I don't. How odd. Supposedly <laughs> uh, there's also a sim standing here, so I might want to unpause. Oh, there we go. Just get Leary to put Lella down. Right, I'm just going <laughs> to speed ahead to morning a bit, because of the light shit. You can see they look a bit ridiculously big when they're just in-game. Yeah, leave the baby outside in the rain, that's always a good idea. Let's hurry up and be morning. Hmm. 
They walk through walls. Fascinating. Oh, come on, hurry up and be day. Nearly there. There we go. Getting better. Co suddenly popped up again as well. Right. Let's just wait for the light to actually go on. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh. Possessive need to pick up babies. Just walk around a bit so you don't get picked up. Okay, I'm getting to the point where it's actually light. Right. Right. Load our edited baby. Is that it? Oh, nope. That was one I did earlier. Oh. We really shouldn't dress them all the same, doesn't help. There's our awkward looking thing. Right. So, photo shooting babies. Best thing is to wait till it's light. No, no, stop it. Erg. Seriously, people need to leave the baby alone. Right. Looks depressed as hell. Um, so pictures either inside or Outside, I don't like putting them outside in the sun because it somehow seems to ruin their face shading. So, let's just stick a one basket outside, one basket inside, and we'll see what looks better. And then babies need a 70 or 75 percent. One more slot, please. To make them tiny as humans. Hey! My roommate just came in, that's not useful. So I get a lot of poses from a friend. Um, but there's obviously a lot of baby poses already online. You just have to find them. So I'm going to take this one because it's one of my favourite ones. Even though the kid is looking sideways. Bit big for the basket now, huh? No, he's just looking at me dodgily like, why are you doing this? Why are you taking photos of me? Let's just rescale this basket.
I love the wonky eyes where it's just like looking in the corner like, oh. Right, well, it seems to want to look awkward. So tab mode. Reshade is on as always. Some reshades look better than others. I've got a couple. But yeah, so then I'll just go press zoom in how I want it. Press F10 to get rid of the UI and print screen. And that is pretty much how I take a picture of a baby. I'll show you something though. Right, if I move this kiddo completely into the dark, you can see its face shading goes very different depending where I put them. And inside it is again going to be very different. Just go to this basket and still that one again. See, they look slightly different again. So I like to fiddle around with lighting. So I might say, where are the lights in this room? Dim a couple of the lights, that often helps. The other one's already dimmed. <laughs> Let's just make her eyes no longer be so wonky. You'll see that they have no neck, which is pretty much like you would expect a baby. Yeah, so take pictures here. And then again, the difference with a normal neck in the garden. Supposed to be on a lights. Where did your one more slot please go? It's supposed to be on a slot. Great, I seem to have moved the slotter down, which means it's like underground. I really hate that. There it is. But yeah, you can see the shading gets a lot different if you're in the dark outside than it does on the inside. Sometimes, oh. let me just change my reshade presets. <laughs> you can see the difference that already makes. <laughs> so I usually just dig around and try and see which lighting ends up suiting their face skin the most. Usually, oh God. Direct sunlight looks pretty much awful. But yeah, that one's not too bad, but I think the one inside was the best. So yeah, that's usually just how I take pictures. The main thing is to make or find a couple of good poses that look kind of like babies. And then, yeah, they kind of do look like newborns this way. So I'm just going to upload this dot sim and the other dot sim. So let me just go into Kath. And edit that photo, so. Okay, 
let's just say res base one Frankie. Just take a picture in cast so that people know what they're getting. I don't think in game pictures always show them off that well, or at least what they actually look like. Right, this was the other base. Just more of an adult child. That one will be up too. I just need a screenshot of that one. Right, and then, oh, I need an in-game screenshot of the other one as well. Why don't I just do that straight away? I will upload these two for anyone to use. As for sliders, if you want the sliders, uh, the links to all the sliders, just message me. Shouldn't be too hard. got told that then shook how smooth my game runs my game has oh let's see I'm just gonna load my CC you can't see me doing this because it only shows my sims but let's see what my mods folder says my mod folder says 22 gigabytes of CC in here although I have absolutely not one single sims 3 pack installed which helps a lot I don't install those they like to mess up the game and it loads in under five minutes so, right. Let's take an in game picture of this kid, find in a pose. I love this, when you do this, it actually gives the um, the shading, like the skin and everything of the toddler you new loaded to the toddler beforehand. So this isn't actually her face shape, it doesn't, it hasn't swapped the sliders out now. But it sometimes just looks hilariously funny, I mean, that hair obviously and that skin would suit the baby as well. <laughs> Let's make it actually look like it's supposed to look. That's what I mean that shading sometimes totally messes up the face. She looks very weird like this. Okay, that pose gives her a slightly funny mouse, so let's get one that doesn't. Oops. Yeah, she no longer needs to be on a resizer because this one's supposed to be actually a, a toddler, not a baby. I guess this picture will do. Blur the background on. Oh crap.
these are just pictures um, for the previews. Wish it would stop doing that though. There you go. Right. Okay. Pretty much done with streaming this. I'll stop recording this now.